Brush aluminum, that's what we are doing in this video. A lot of you asked how to achieve a brushed aluminum look on the bike and that's exactly what I do on this frame. I have to strip the monster frame I did a while ago because that's the only aluminum frame I have and the first step is to remove the color, the powder coating or whatever you have on the frame. And to do so you have three, <laughs> yeah three options. So let's start with this aluminum project. First option is to use sandpaper or wet sanding paper to remove the original color. And if you don't know how to do it, check my stripping video in the corner and I show you in detail how to strip the paint with wet sanding paper. The next option is paint stripper. If you like to pollute the environment with bad chemicals, you can use also paint stripper if you are into stripping. I'm not into stripping, I like to media blast my frame because that's fast and eco-friendly and I like the fast way, so that's what I do to my frame. I will media blast the frame to remove the original paint job, or in this case the custom paint job, and when the frame is stripped, I come back to you to show you how to achieve the brushed aluminum look on your bike. Yeah, that's how the frame looks like after the media blast, the typical gray structure. And what I have to do now is I have to sand and brush the frame for the brushed look. And what I like to try is I like to polish some areas on the frame. The frame has a special front end. You can see the bow shape here. And I like to polish this area. And when all went well, I like to apply a candy color on the polished aluminum. So wish me luck. So these areas brushed aluminum. A polished front end with candy color and maybe a polished logo on the down tube. Let's go. What I have to do is I have to take Sandra, my wet sanding bucket and also some wet sanding paper, 800 grit. I put it into Sandra to make it wet and yeah, now I have to sand the parts I like to polish. The front end, that's the first step. Yeah, the moment has come and that's the first time in my YouTube career I have to stop a video. I had a bad fail and I'm not able to achieve what I like to achieve on this frame. A nice brushed aluminum look. It's four hours later and I tried a lot of different sanding techniques with these wet sanding papers, also with sponges and orbital sanders and there's no chance to achieve a nice and even brushed aluminum look on this frame. And there are different reasons for the fail. The first one is it's a very cheap frame. The whole bike cost 85 euros, which is around about 90 or 95 dollar. So the alloying of this frame is very cheap and there are a lot of strange spots. And the frame was powder coated before and I believe it was also media blasted before. And that's why I run into problems. The tubes are no longer even. There are a lot of strange spots. You can see here these dark spots and it would take me days to flatten the tubes to polish or, or brush them. And there are also strange spots in the alloying itself. You can see them here and there's no chance to polish the alloying uh, to make this invisible. 
and uh, to achieve a nice and polished surface. So I decided to stop the video because it would take me days to fix these issues, maybe four to five days and I don't have the time. So what I will do with this frame is another DIY paint job because a lot of you asked if I can show you how to paint aluminum frames DIY style with spray cans. So that's what I like to do with this one so it's not lost. So yeah, let me know what I should paint on this frame DIY style with spray cans. Maybe a camouflage. Let me know in the comments what you want to see on the frame. <laughs> no brushed aluminum, of course, because that's not possible. But I like to apply another cool paint job. Yeah, the monster paint job's lost. So maybe you have a cool idea what's, uh, what's cool on this frame. And if you want to achieve brushed aluminum, I can recommend to buy a high quality frame like this one. It's still brushed, but I can't paint it because that's a client frame and it should get another color. Sorry guys for that. But you can see the difference. Check how dark this one is compared to this one. That's nearly white compared to the dark aluminum of this one. So yeah, it's all about the alloying. This frame's possible to brush and polish, this not. So yeah, bad fail for me. I invested two days of work in the frame and I have no finished video or no finished frame in this case. But let me know in the comments what I should paint with spray cans on this one. Uh, that's what I like to do and stay tuned. Next week I do also another DIY video of a helmet. I will paint a helmet with spray cans monster style like this frame. That's also interesting for you if you want to paint your helmet yourself. Yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry guys, I have no finished frame, but see you next week with another cool custom paint job.